So now that you've collected your infected cladodes, now it's really important to identify where we're going to release them and mapping that is one of those ways. We map it so we have clear identification of where the biocontrol has been released. We want to make sure that we do have a good coverage of the biocontrol being released. So by identifying where it's being released, it also um, allows us to map those points and identify where it hasn't been released. So then we can either implement other integrated control methods, or we can simply just go back and identify those um, Hudson pear plants that don't have the biocontrol on it and release in those areas. So this data is really important to be handed in soon after these points have been GPS or marked on a map um, so that we can then record them and put all this data together um, and identify these spots as soon as um, the biocontrol has been released. So then we can identify wind direction um, and which way the wind has blown the biocontrol. We can also identify wind dispersal as well. So wind dispersal of the bug um, is really important in the mapping process so we know if we need to go further upwind and release more of the bug. So if you can fill out your biocontrol release form as thoroughly as you can and get it back to the mass rearing facility as, as promptly as possible, that then can be fed into a data system which can then be further informative into the Hudson Pear business plan and then that business plan helps to guide other and further integrated control methods and measures.